Well, how to do, Buckaroos? <laughs> Spear Whisper. And we are somewhere between Christmas and New Year's. And I thought I'd take this time to do a classic highball. Yes, I said highball. Uh, for you youngsters out there, look it up. Uh, anyways, I digress. I picked up this, oh, I don't know, about three weeks ago now. It is the uh, Seagram 7. It says uh, American Blended Whiskey. It's a limited edition bottle. What else does it say here? My light isn't the greatest. It is a 75% neutral grain spirit. So, I mean, this yeah, this is a, a very inexpensive whiskey. Uh, I don't know that it is made the same way that it always has been. Um, but the 7 and 7 is the classic cocktail. Man, my light is not cooperating with me. 40%, so it is 80 proof. So there you go. And I got it mostly because it was the classic bottle. Now, I know some people buy the classic bottles just to show them. I don't do that with anything. I don't buy anything for show. I will save the bottle after it's empty, but I am going to use the contents. So I'm making the classic 7 and 7. I made myself a double, which means, well, two ounces, two shots. Oh. And this is about the size of the classic short highball glass. Now, I don't know why that term isn't used anymore, but... Oh, yeah. Um, Seagram's, this isn't necessarily top shelf whiskey uh, it's not going to be well whiskey either uh, not generally but um, it's certainly not one that I would intend to drink neat or in a specialty cocktail where you really want to taste the whiskey a lot but because of the way it's made it, it, it blends very well with one mixer even though I am tasting the whiskey some I think most of you know what I'm talking about it does blend very well with 7-Up. And that's kind of the nature of this whiskey. Um, classically, the highballs were generally served in uh, either, uh, usually a glass like this, sometimes a glass like this, but generally speaking, they were in these cylindrical glasses, uh, either short or tall. Now, some people mistakenly think that a tall was more alcohol. No, a tall was more mixer. A double is more alcohol, and you can order a double in either a short or a tall. The only difference in the size of the glass was the amount of mixer you put in it. Classically, a highball is one whiskey, one mixer. There you go. Uh, you know, it's one of those things that, you know, all highballs are cocktails, not all cocktails are a highball. And that was a difference with the highball. Highball was one one whiskey or one one spirit, one mixer. For the most part, anyway, I guess with anything there are exceptions. Yeah, you know, this isn't something I drink all the time. Uh, this 7 does uh, allow a lot of sweetness. I'm going to be honest, for my particular taste buds, I would probably drink this. Uh, if I was having a drink like this, a refreshing type drink, that would be more for spring-summer. Um, I would probably use club soda. I would do, you know, the Seagram's or whatever mixer I'm using. Uh, a Jim Beam, I, I use that for a mixing whiskey. Uh, that and club soda because I don't personally want all the sweetness. But that's why this was such a popular drink, because that, that sweetness kind of mellowed it out and allowed folks to be able, that, that weren't typically whiskey drinkers, to drink a highball like this. I made this one again with two ounces of whiskey, so this would be technically a double. Uh, if I was to order a drink like this at a bar, assuming I had a bartender that knew <laughs> what I was talking about. Yeah, I would order it in a short glass because I'm not one of those guys that liked a lot of mixer. I really like to taste my whiskey, no matter what whiskey it is. Let me show you this bottle one more time. And again, it was, this was, it was on sale at my local Macadoodles for only 10 bucks a bottle. I mean, you know, what the hell. And as you can see, uh, <laughs> by the 
by the speed in which I drank that, it is relatively easy to drink. Uh, this was a, a cocktail I drank a lot as a younger man, and then as I got older and appreciated whiskey more, I went to uh, you know more expensive whiskey or better quality whiskey, and then gradually became you know a neat drinker or occasionally rocks, but generally neat. So, show you that bottle one more time, and that is the classic highball. <laughs> 